Hi guys, this is Pradeep. So today I'm going to explain uh, one scenario related to multi-level product costing. In fact, uh, this one someone requested to uh, create some scenario related to multi-level product costing because maybe in interview it was asked to that person. Uh, this is definitely a uh, advanced question, advanced interview questions. So this video you can go through it or you can understand very e easily if already you have created the product costing, the single level product cost calculation okay if you are not aware about that first i will suggest you go through the single level product costing which i will add in the i button so you can check that then after that you can go through this multi-level product costing now let's understand what is multi-level product costing multi-level product costing means when we are manufacturing one finished product that includes multiple sub components are there for example let's say we are manufacturing mobile now when we will take the finished product that is our mobile mobile like it's not like in factory you are going to put all your raw materials everything in one end and in other end you are going to get the finished stock so we have different processes there so to manufacture the mobile uh, mobile if we, have, we will take this as our finished product so we have a sub component is there that is motherboard we have uh, components is there that is battery we have sub components that is your different machineries so let's take example of motherboard now motherboard is one sub component means motherboard is our semi finished product which is part of our finished product now if when we are selling uh, this motherboard in the open market that time we are saying that it is our finished product if that motherboard we are going to use in our mobile that time we are saying it is semi finished product so that's why when the companies they are going to manufacture the cost uh, manufacture the mobile so the cost related to mobile includes the cost related to semi finished stock if multiple semi finished product will be there then all cost of your semi finished product plus all the cost related to that mobile or i mean the finished stock so that includes your final cost so that's why when you are going to calculate your cost in cost of production calculation or you are going to integrate with pp make sure that your semi finished stock should flow the cost of semi finished stock should flow to finished stock for example let's say finished stock is 100 okay manufacturing cost of mobile is 100 and motherboard cost is let's say 40 so that means we have to make sure that 100 includes 40 or how we got 100 because 100 40 plus some other components like your uh, other materials or other activities so everything includes 100 so 100 everything combined 100 so finish stock because i have seen that a uh, uh, lot of calculation errors even implementations also consultants used to do they have calculated the cost related to semi finished stock but that cost never flow to your finished stock so in that case the process is completely wrong because until unless that cost is not part of your finished stock so the purpose is not going to solve or that is your final cost um, the end result will not be the correct one so that's why make sure that the cost properly flow from semi finished stock to finished stock so to understand this one better i have created a small scenario and uh, i'm going to show you that so let's take that example practically then you will get more clarity now in this uh, excel you can see i have uh, two components are there one component is uh, 97 this is 97 and uh, this is my finished stock and another component is there 90, uh, 96 is my finished stock and 97 is my semi finished stock so to calculate the cost of 97 97 includes my raw material 1 raw material 2 and its corresponding activities over it everything similarly that total cost plus some other components like here uh, i have other components are also there screen is there or let's say some more raw materials are there its related activities there over it is there that is our finished stock okay so this concept is applicable when you are calculating your plan cost this applicable when you are going to calculate your actual cost user is not going to calculate the cost differently the user is going to calculate user is just going to run the report by selecting the particular final product that is our 96 in our example that includes 97 as well okay so user point of view there will be no difference but when you will do the configuration make sure that your finished stock includes semi finished stock or all cost related to finished stock includes semi finished stock also now first let me show you this one uh, in our plant cost so i will take the final product that is 96 and we will see the plant cost so let's go to the sap screen and we will check that so this is my finished stock which is 96 in our example and i can see the cost is 248213 inr and its component i can see here so this includes mobile 
this includes motherboard and here you can see some option is there error right arrow is there that means some more components are there this includes another product screen is there this includes packing material is there at high level i can see if i will further expand it now you can see the cost related to my finished stock includes couple of activities so two activities there so that includes motherboard again that is semi-finished stock that includes raw material another activity the material overhead and production overhead is there now i want to see so what is my cost 2482 now same if i will check in my material ledger then it should be there so the cost related to 96 the standard price is what the standard price is 248213 perfect up to this there is no confusion now coming to the motherboard if i will expand this one further now mother itself it is calculated one package the motherboard includes like what is the cost here the motherboard cost is 144022 144.22 and that included in my finished stock calculation so that means i can say the 248213 includes 144022 and how it is calculated this is how it is calculated if you want to see individually you can also see the plant cost related to semi-finished stock but i can show you but separately i have not calculated anything semi-finished stock user will just run the ck40n as usual and automatically that cost will be part of your finished stock but i want to see that one so if i will check my cost related to 97 you will find exactly the same calculation you will find here so that means this package this portion right this portion this portion you will find under your semi-finished stock calculation which is available here right now check here right so this one will be the output when you will calculate your finished stock and if i will check 97 my standard price 97 so that means your marking release everything will be there but everywhere we are going to take the higher material that means in this case it is my finished stock which is 96 automatically system is going to update the 97 as well so if i will check here 97 so what is my standard price so the standard price for this one is 144022 which i have calculated along with my finished stock calculation so till now we understood the multi-level cost calculation with your plant price now let's see whether it is applicable and on our actual price or not in case of actual price what you are doing in case of actual price we are calculating one production order or cost related to production order so when you are calculating the cost related to production order or your finished stock so that means a bill of material should be there so here also it is applicable but make sure that your final product bill of material should includes your semi-finished stock also and another important thing the cost whatever it is calculated related to semi-finished stock that should flow to your finished stock so that i will show you practically right so now let's check one production order now uh, user is not going to create here multiple production order user is going to create only one production order that is related to finished stock now here i have created one production order let me show you so this is one triple zero and one four nine is my one production order so as usual i'm going to take here co03 and i will take this particular production order now the moment i can see here the production order i can see one sub component is there that is our semi-finished stock now let's say in your process if let's say three semi-finished products are there so you will get one finished product the production order plus three more semi-finished products will be there so accordingly when you will confirm your production order so you have to confirm accordingly you have to design your operation now if i want to see let's check this one 149 if i want to see all the cost so right now it is my production order and i want to see the cost related to my finished stock now this cost includes this cost includes my packing material related to finished stock plus this includes my cost related to motherboard which is calculated with a different production order now what is the price here it is it is mentioned as 432 now if i will check the other production order 148 which automatically system calculated you will find the total cost related to this production order should be the output of so what is the output here so the total cost is related to this semi-finished stock which is 97 in this case it is 432066 now this one is updated here 
So that means the semi finished stock cost which is calculated it transferred to our finished stock. Then plus uh, finished stock related its components are there, its overheads are there. So whatever the normal process it is there but automatically system is calculated within this finished stock cost calculation the semi finished stock and it's not only calculating it's also flowing that cost to another particular production order. So this is the PP output. Now how we can see the accounting point of view particularly I want to see this cost flow for 320 which is there because it is calculated with a different production order okay so let's check the accounting document so that you will get it now this one uh, I did yesterday so I have selected here uh, entry date yesterday date and let's execute now here a couple of documents are there related to the entire process if I will check this accounting document 49018 that means I transferred the cost when I confirm the operation so that time I transferred the raw material cost to my production order so what is the production order 148 so that means it is material consumption one more document is that if we'll check this one I transferred the cost to my production order so 148 keep in mind it is my production order related to my semi finished stock right then if I will check this one this is important so I have calculated the total cost related to my semi finished stock 432066 and automatically I can see it is included in my finished stock so whatever the cost I have calculated so not only your material will be there of course different activities are there if you'll see here your semi finished stock so other activities are there so all this cost initially it is normally what we are doing when we are receiving the production order so that time FG stock is debited and change in stock is credited in this case change in stock credited as usual now let's see which production order it is credited 148 so first we have accumulated all the cost related to this production order then debit is your balance sheet item now this cost transfer to okay so this is this is your P&L item GBB cost and this is your BSX this is your balance sheet now this one flow to your FG so this is your cost as SFG consumption right so check this one so all cost we transferred from 148 production order to our SFG this item so that's why it is debited then immediately your SFG stock is credited here okay and it is credited then where we transfer the cost SFG consumption so SFG used in your finished stock and check what is the production order here so the production order is 149 this is important so that means all cost related to our production order 148 we transferred to 149 okay so the moment your cost will flow so automatically your pp part is going to update plus it is also going to update in your accounting so all these documents whatever it is there with reference to yesterday entry date it is all your result of your integration so as multiple activities so here we confirm the production order we consumed material we consumed activity over it so every all these documents are there so already you are aware about that if any difference is there so how we are going to handle that difference with our material ledger and copa in this cost calculation so when i will check this production order sub production order so i can see here a difference of 13900.96 related to my 97 which is my semi finished stock and production order is 148 now if I will check this one in my material ledger so let's see the difference so here you can see the difference is there 13,900 plus it is for your material ledger so same should be there in the accounting same should be there in the copa as well now accounting we will see but first let me show you the copa so copa point of view here I am for your reference I am working on combined copa so if you are not familiar with the combined copa I already prepared one video for that so you can check that I will add in the cat right multiple documents are there so we need to find out the our reference document so here you will find the reference document so with reference to so what is the source document so source document for this particular line I Item. so here uh, we will check the source document uh, th these are uh, this is one document right so 13906 so this is my output related to PNL this is related to material ledger 13900 and plus it is there in the copa but in copa multiple line is there so we have to find out what is the source document so check here the source document so original document is 610 so here it is 610 now this is the document so we settled with the copa so these are my different characteristics and the difference amount is updated with the value feeds so difference will be there not only your finished stock if the semi finished stock difference will be there that also going to reflect in your books of accounts similarly if i will check my fg of course fg should be there so fg difference is 11506 
check that in the material ledger too so here it's some more values are there maybe related to other production orders but our current production order is 149 so 11,506.86 so it is there in the material ledger it is there in the um, copa uh, sorry this is my cost calculation pp and it should be there in the copa as well okay 5 11,506 so with reference to this value fields updated so rest of the process will be the same as usual only thing is when you are going to calculate your cost of production calculation from the beginning means from the plant cost itself make the process or make the business scenario in such a way that your finished stock includes your semi-finished stock so when you user is going to calculate the cost of the finished product in every step the semi-finished stock cost will be flow whether it is plant cost whether it is actual cost whether it is variance everywhere you will find that semi-finished item also will be there i have shown with one semi-finished stock in the same process multiple semi-finished product will be there so i hope you got the clarity on this and uh, someone requested me i hope you got also your answer for the multi-level production order if any query anything feel free to add in the comments or you can mail me also thank you